And welcome back, Bobcat Nation. Stephen Thomas here with another episode of the Texas State Bobcats Dynasty. We are nine and two, but on the outside looking in of the national title game. One regular season game remains, and then probably the Pac-12 title. We take on Texas A&M out of the SEC today. Recruiting. We've got a few big battles going on the board with players that would be game changing for us. A couple of prospects visiting today. We got a good chance at this outside linebacker, the number one overall run stopper in the nation out of Lakeside, Florida. We're also working on a middle linebacker, which we desperately need to replace TJ Manning. We're still working on the number two tackle in the nation, but it looks like he's leading toward going to our counterpart in the state of Texas. Boo, horns down. And then there's a few others that we are working on that would just bolster up our depth. We will just have to see what happens as we go down the line. With all the accolades coming in this season, Coach Conquest has leveled up yet again and got another update point. I'm going to go with this matchup here. It shows who is on each defense. So this would be pretty cool. Just see what it is. I don't really normally put points in these. Jesse Broussard and Matt, Matt Nelson's pretty good offensively. He has definitely helped this year. I don't think we'll keep him after the season, though. I'm sure he'll probably venture out and get his own job, but we'll just have to see. Jesse Broussard has been with us for a number of years now, but we seem to be a revolving door for offensive coordinators. On paper, this looks to be a really big game. Texas A&M was ranked very highly at the start of the season. But overall, we are almost identical. This could be a trap game for the Bobcats. Take a look at the last time this screen may show. It is senior day. This will be the last home game for our 15 seniors. Just to go down the line of who they are, two of them on this screen here. Brian Jones, this is his last home game. Senior out of Snowflake, Arizona. Brandon Fritz out of Channel View, Texas. Cornerback will be playing his last game at home. Caleb Evans, TJ Manning, David Bailey, and Joey Richard out of Lufkin, Texas, Kingsville, Texas, Madison, Wisconsin, and Winsboro, uh, Louisiana. That is part of our linebacker core. Four of them, Caleb Evans and TJ Manning, got a lot of play time the last couple of years. Bailey and Richard, not so much. We got Bobby Norton, our starting senior center out of Bury in Washington. He is a senior today. Uh, a couple of bench players, Joe Jones. And Kyle Brown out of Bolingbrook, Illinois, and Batavia, Batavia, New York. We go down to our wide receivers, Chuck Denman out of Brent, Florida, and Sean Burnett out of Crystal, Minnesota. Last home game for them. Fullback Dylan Lee out of Oaks, North Dakota. This will be his last game. Johnny Walker out of Richmond, Texas. It will be his last home game, excuse me. And don't forget, Frank Rankin out of Corona, California, the left end, been here what seems like eight years, and one of the first people that I recruited, Lawrence Galloway out of Georgetown, Kentucky, is a senior. Sun shining bright here in San Marcos. Both teams looking to get riled up, ready to go. Coach Conquest talking to Brian Jones here on Senior Day. Excitement here at Bobcat Stadium. Looks like they've got a good pass offense. Our secondary has been playing well the last few games. It's nice to see them finally clicking. We'll see if they can keep that going today. But here come the Bobcats out on the field the last time at home this season because the next game will be the Pac-12 Championship, wherever that is played at, and then off to a bowl game. Neither one of those will be a home game. But it has been a long, tumultuous season. Coach Conquest has held the team together and a slight opportunity for a national championship at stake. If we put points on the board like we did in the last game, we may be in there, but it's going to take a lot. Today, Texas A&M from the SEC comes in to take on the third-ranked Texas State Bobcats. We go from playing in heavy snow to the sunny fields here in San Marcos. David Carter gets the game started, and we are off. Deep kick, Jones will kneel down, and Texas A&M will start at the 25. Texas State has 
overperformed here lately, and it has been just a long, long season for Texas A&M. Good coverage on that. Second down. Texas State goes in shotgun formation. And Mills was through, but he tripped. Oh, and what a play there. Phil Harris knocks that down. Phil Harris been doing well lately. Phil Harris out of Union Springs, Alabama. The junior really come on this season. Lots of time. Pressure coming. He's going to run, and they're going to bring him down. And that's going to force a punt on the first series here by Texas A&M. Craig Denman will be back to receive this. And he's got needs a couple of blocks, and he's not going to get anything over there, and he's going to get seven yards, and that's about it. Brown, Denman, McTaggart, Burnett out there. Darren Thomas in the backfield. Darren Thomas done well the last few weeks. And there's a quick throw to Willie McTaggart, and the youngster will make the catch for 13 yards. Willie McTaggart getting a lot of play. The junior out of St. Rose, Louisiana. Gonna hand off. Let's see what Darren Thomas is doing. Darren Thomas cuts through. He'll get three across midfield. Second and seven. Oh, and they went for a screen and it was just off. That's gonna make it third and long. I figured that they would have the speed to keep up with our guys. We'll just loft that one and Chuck. Oh my god, Chuck Denman! 12 yards for the catch. He gets helicoptered in the air. Oh my lord. Chuck Denman holds on to that one somehow. Really come along. Good catch, good highlight here on senior day. And we'll see if Darren Thomas is pulled down for a loss on that rush. So Texas A&M's linebacker core got some speed to him today. Jones changes some stuff up at the line. And he's gonna hit Johnny Walker and Johnny Walker is gonna pick it apart, and get 14 yards. Another senior today out of Richmond, Texas. Another handoff, seeing if Darren Thomas, and he does, he spins, he'll get up, and he'll get eight yards on that rush. A good run there. Second and two. Good blocks on the outside. Thomas, Thomas throws off one, and the second defender will come up and get him, but seven yards, and it's first and goal now. Like AM, the Aggies playing a little bit of weird defense. And here comes Thomas. Thomas head on collision. He keeps going, and that's five yards. This will be the 10th play of the drive. Texas State putting together a hellacious drive, and they're looking. Thomas trying to turn the corner. Thomas is in there for the score, and the Bobcats get on the board first here today. What a drive put together by Coach Conquest and this offensive core here. David Carter puts it through, 7-0, Texas State leading here. Washington State has defeated Washington, so that will probably end the hopes of Washington being in the Pac-12 title game. Just have to wait and see. I don't remember who is next on the line. Jones will kneel this down. First and 10. Crosby's going to... Head out there. Pressure coming. Oh, and he's going to catch that. They're going to give it to him. He only got two yards. Texas A&M goes hurry up offense. Taking them quite some time to get everybody in. They're going to hand it off. That's a nice run, and TJ Manning's going to hit him, and he'll be short a yard of the first down. Spread out the offensive line. Here comes the pressure, and what a blitz! My God, TJ Manning on senior day has forced another punt, come through untouched, gets to the Aggies quarterback, and that is a play and a half right there. But with 2.40 left in the first quarter, Aggies out the punt. Chuck Dinman. Even the one block, and oh, he gets hit pretty hard. A couple of big hits for Chuck Denman today. Got to watch on him, the wear and tear. First and 10. They're going to hand off here, and here goes Thomas. He'll dive down and get two. Eight to go here. 
Little short throw. They'll hit Chuck Denman again. He'll pick up three yards, but another big tough hit. We gotta, we gotta protect the Denman. Jones goes in the shotgun. And he's gonna hit Sean Burnett. And of course, Sean Burnett's gonna dig and get some more yards. 12 yards in the first down in there across midfield. Play calls coming in quickly here today. Coach Conquest knows exactly what he wants to do. And there's another hit, and he'll dart it to Johnny Walker, and that's good for another first down. Jones gets under center here. Minute to go in the quarter, and they're trying to go, and Thomas just runs into a wall of Aggies, and they'll hold him at the line of scrimmage. Second and 10, Chuck Denman goes in motion. They really load up that one side. And he's going to go deep. He's going to try to hit Burnett, and it's not down. The third and 10. It's a screen. Thomas looking. Thomas, and Thomas is going to get knocked down. He'll get four. And they may have to settle for a field goal here. So at the end of the first quarter, Texas State leading 7-0, bearing a 48-yard field goal attempt coming up right now. One of the longer kicks he's tried this year. Carter launches it, and it is good! He gets it! What a blast from David Carter, the sophomore out of Parker, Colorado. And Texas State is up 10-0 here with 6.57 till half. What a beautiful kick that was. This youngster, he's grown up on us, and still a couple more years to go. He is a finalist for the Best Kicker of the Year award. That may help. The Texas State doing what Utah did last week. They're going empty backfield. They're going to go short, and they'll hit Mayo. Steve Mayo out there. Nice name. Three yards. And a good pass over the middle, and they hit Mayo again, and he's up near midfield. Biggest play of the day for the Aggies. It's a state defense scrambling around, trying to change up what they're doing. And the quarterback's going to run, and he's going to slide before TJ Manning can get to him. Seven yards. The defense is yelling they're running it. They have an empty backfield again. Texas State really spreading us out here. We got pressure coming in. We're going to get to him. And that was Phil Harris on the outside and a sack there. Oh, it looks like they're going to give credit to Daryl Lumpkin. Was Lumpkin the first one that got there? He was, excuse me. I thought that was Phil Harris. Oh, it was Phil Harris to come in at the, after the fact. Great job by Daryl Lumpkin there. I like calling Daryl Lumpkin's name. He's almost got a name of a friend I had growing up. Nice little shout out to him. Oh, we were through and he's gonna throw it off his back. Uh -huh. Fritz, what are you doing? All Fritz had to do was jump, and he just stood there. I don't understand him. In all my years of playing football games, Brandon Fritz is probably the most, like, just driving me crazy type person. Forced him out for a loss there. So they go out of bounds, but they hurry up. The clock was stopped. No, the clock didn't get stopped. That's weird. Here's the throw. We're going to knock him down there. Look like Evans. Someone else pushed him down. So third and four. Like to, to get a stop here. And I think we may have jumped. Right, he's going to get a wide open first down. And he'll be pulled down by a couple of linebackers. 15 yards. First and 10 here. Five to go till half. We knew Texas A&M had a quality team. I think they jumped that time, so that's going to push them back five yards. False start, offense. First and 15. We have pressure there, and they go over the middle, and Steve Mayo is just blowing us up today. Hurry up and get to the line. Got three to the left. We send some pressure. He'll get a yard on the play. Aggies throwing the play in. They're going to keep it with the quarterback, and he's going to go in untouched. And Texas A&M has made it a ball game here, 10 to 6, with four minutes to go till half. Here's 
Chuck Denman very deep on this one. He is going to come out. Chuck Denman is in trouble, and he's going to get brought down way back. So they're at the 10-yard line. Maybe not a good decision for Chuck Denman to bring that one out. And Thomas is going to dig and maybe get back to the line of scrimmage. Not been able to throw any haymakers this game. Oh, and Jones is going to be sacked right. Oh, man, this is dangerous times now. Third and long, and they're backed up to the end zone. The pressure come from all angles. Third and 16. He's going to get rid of that. There's Burnett. Burnett is going to get the first down. What a play by Sean Burnett. 20 yards and some cushion for the Bobcats. Holy cow. The pressure was coming, and Burnett, they threw the ball before he was even away from it. Brian Jones knew he had, knew he had to get away, and he does. Got to help the yak totals of the senior there. It also helped the Bobcats get some breathing room. And Thomas tries to get on the outside, and he does. Good run there, eight yards. Tough running by Darren Thomas. Second and two. Shaw's going to go in motion. And they fake the handoff. And he is wide open in the middle of the field. Sean Burnett, he gets a block. What a move. Sean Burnett down the field. Sean Burnett dives into the end zone. Touchdown, Bobcats. Holy cow. The senior out of Crystal, Minnesota. Two amazing plays on that drive. Brian Jones hits him, and he just had so much room to do whatever he wants. Does a little move, gets a block, and he is gone to the races. David Carter puts the extra point through. Bobcats lead 17 7, 255 till half. So another chance for the Bobcat defense to prove themselves. And they're going to let Mayo get some more yardage. Got pressure to him earlier, but a good adjustment by the Aggies' offensive line is holding them at bay. And there's another pass. He's going to be brought down. Wes Brewer gets six yards. Jesse Broussard reeling in the defensive calls, trying to hold him back. A change by the Aggies at the line. And they got a wide open Hubbard. And Hubbard's going to break that tackle. Schneider's the last one to stop him. And he misses. And a touchdown for AM. 53 yards. And both teams here in Texas taking swings at each other. Texas A&M would love to do nothing more than be the spoiler in Texas State season. And they're keeping it close right now. 2.16 left till half. Texas State gets the ball after the break. First and 10. Oh, knocked down. Good defense there. Aggies trying to dig in here. And they send a blitzer, and he gets to Darren Thomas in a two-yard loss. And now, all of a sudden, with two minutes left, big decision here. A&M calls the timeout. They want to hold the time in case they get the ball back. Smart call there. Third and 12. He is wide open out there, and he hits Sean Burnett again. And Sean Burnett gets the first down, 32 yards. And what a day he's having. Sean Burnett just left the corner in cement and took off down the field, makes the catch, and they get the first down. First and 10. There's a shot, and there's Willie McTaggart, and what a... Oh, Willie McTaggart all over the field, bumbling, stumbling, gets down 28 yards. Willie McTaggart showing he wants a spot on this team next season. That makes it first and 10. Willie McTaggart, where have you been? The junior wide receiver working his way off the practice squad early in the season and now making plays like that. There's a run up the middle and there's Thomas and Thomas is in the end zone. What a run, 16 yards. And Texas State, oh my God, catch your breath. There's still a minute 36 left in the half. Texas A&M could strike back. Darren Thomas, look at these moves.
24-14, plenty of time for the Aggies. And they've got two timeouts. David Carter launches this one. Could be returnable. It is. And he gets demolished by Bailey. We really need the defense to show up here. We don't want to give up a score. And they're going to run, and Dotson just breaks through the line there. What a play. Josh Dawson out of Woodridge, Illinois, is also a senior. And I say that because I know I left his name off the senior list earlier. But he let me know that he is here today, and it is his senior day as well. Lots of time. And they're going to call that in? And it is. It was a catch. Mayo again, just tearing us apart. Couldn't get to him in time. They've done amazing on clock management here. 108. Fill their timeouts. Pressure coming. They unload that. But Terrell Snyder, oh, he got away from him. Oh, my God. These guys are hitting hard. Ernest Brock taking out some of our best players. Clock stopped at one minute as the Aggies call timeout. Second and four. Block, but they pick up the pressure. He's going to get the first down. He's going to get a lot more. Block's going to run after they move the chains, but they're in good position. We need to move our line over. We've got to get to him. we got to slow him down. We were there. Oh, and another catch. My God. Come on, guys. You've got to defend. 46 seconds left. Plenty of time. They've still got a timeout. We need something to happen here. He's going to run. Oh, my God. Oh, my Lord. Are you serious right now? First and goal. They're going to put this in, I bet. They rush up to the line. And their quarterback all of a sudden just started running today. And we're going to hopefully get to him, and we will. The clock's going to tick. He loses four yards on the sack. They're not hurrying. There they go. 20 seconds left. And he's going to throw that, but TJ Manning's over there, and there's a tackle. 14 seconds, the clock ticking. Are they going to try to run, or are they going to go for the field goal? What is AM going to do? It looks like they're trying to line back up. They're trying to get over there. Six seconds, five seconds. They've got to hurry. The call's coming in. Two seconds, they finally get it. Texas AM. Texas AM looking, and he throws it. It's a touchdown. What a play. And AM strikes here at midnight. And a chance to make it a three point game at halftime. Everything was, oh my God, they snapped it so quick. 21 24. And I am exasperated after that half. Third ranked Texas State 24, Texas AM 21. Brian Jones trying to rally the troops. There's another half to play. Hope you took a breather. We're back. This game, so much on the line. The Aggies playing for pride. Texas State trying to play to get the national championship. But Chuck Denman had a small window there, and he just couldn't get through it. A mistake could just prove futile. And Brian Jones hit on that one. And that is actually going to be picked off. And here we were talking mistakes, and there's the first one. Brian Jones with a rare interception his first one in a long long time he was hit as soon as the throw and it had to take a little off of it he was trying to hit daryl brown and here we'll see if the texas state bobcats defense can hold up great field position here for the aggies they bring the pressure and it doesn't matter oh he dropped it good defensive play there Second down. And they got to him, but he the throw goes off, and Hubbard picks up 13 yards. They're tearing us up in the middle of the field. We just are not getting pressure anymore. Pushing the linebacker. Look at this. These out routes are immaculate. 14 more yards. And he's going to lob that one, and Fritz comes over and hits him, and he knocks it out. Good defense. 
They're back to the empty backfield here. And we're going to get a piece of him, and they're going to knock him down, and that's a five-yard sack. Frank Rankin, I believe, got that one. No. 98, another senior, Josh Dawson. There he is. Empty backfield again. And they're going to get to him again, and it's a sack. Is that him? No, that was Frank Rankin, the other senior lineman. Both linemen getting back-to-back -back sacks, pushes the Aggies back, and it's going to be a long field goal if they try it. Curious what they're going to do here. Almost a fumble on the play. They are going to try. We, we've got a little... I'm, I'm worried about a fake. He tries it, and it is no good. It flails in the wind wide left. And the score remains the same. So the turnover does not cost Bobcats any points. So much pressure here. Good blocking. And there's Thomas. He'll cut and he'll get five yards on the run. Big days for them. That's a quick throw to Daryl Brown and he'll get five yards and it's good for the first down. Good quick three-step drop throw. Jones will get under center here. Patrick's going to go in motion. There's another quick throw to Burnett, and Burnett will pick up 11 yards, and Burnett has just been turning it on up to 144 yards today. Jones in the shotgun. They're going to hand off. And oh, he got off that block. Two-yard loss. Thomas, if he could have got around the corner, could have been a big run. Negative 12. Thomas is going to empty the backfield. And there's a great throw, and there's McTaggart! Oh my god, Willie McTaggart is in for the touchdown! What a play call! Brian Jones hits him. What a route! And they left the defender, it looked like they left the linebacker on Willie McTaggart, and McTaggart makes them pay with six. David Carter makes it a 10-point game again. Four minutes to go in the third quarter. They load up this right side. And the quarterback's just going to keep it, and he's going to run into Daryl Lumpkin. He'll get two yards. That was his number the whole way. They load up the left side now. They direct snap it to the halfback, and Caleb Evans will pull him down. Third and short now. I think they're going to direct snap it to him again. They do. They run the same play, and we are ready for it. He had his hands up like the quarterback. That was easily giving it away, and that may force a punt. Anthony White on the sack tackle there. So the hurry-up offense kind of bites the Aggies in the butt there. We, we knew exactly what they were calling. As Chuck Denman is back, ready for this one. Chuck Denman turns. Chuck Denman trying to turn the corner. Chuck Denman cuts in, and he'll get up to the 40. So three minutes to go in the third. Texas State a chance to extend the lead of the game. Ryan Jones changing things up on the line. And that one. Oh, Johnny Walker come down with it. He goes up and strips it. It was an interception, and he stripped it out of the hands of the safety. Johnny Walker saving Brian Jones from a rare two-interception game. Shaw's going to go in motion here. They're going to run around the outside edge, and there's some good blocks, and Darren Thomas has plenty of room. Darren Thomas off to the races, and he'll get brought down inside the 20. What a rush by Darren Thomas. Great blocking all the way through. It's like the defensive or offensive line is finally clicking for the run game. First and 10, Jones and Shotgun. Oh, and that one is picked off by the linebacker. Oh man, he just was sitting in the right place and Brian Jones is beside himself and a chance, he threw it right to him and a chance for Texas State to go up big and now the defense has to come back out and do its job. There's plenty of time, and there's Mayo again. And Mayo's going to break the tackle and get the midfield. Steve Mayo keeping the Aggies in this game up near 100 yards. Check, 
We just could oh pull him out there. Four yard gain. Two minutes to go in the third. Pressure just all day to throw. And it's Mayo again. There's a flag on the play. Holding off. And that's gonna back him up. They load up that right side. We'll ship the backers over. Oh, God, and they're going to run. He'll get six yards on the play. Hey, they got a Brian Jones on their team. He runs the ball. Important third down here near midfield. Pressure picked up, and he drops the ball. A minute 14 left in the third. This roller coaster of a ride continues. They punt it. Chuck Denman's going to let it bounce. And it goes into the end zone for a touchback. So once again, a Brian Jones interception does not turn into points. I don't know if they'll be able to dodge any more bullets today. Here's Darren Thomas. Good spin move. He'll pick up five yards. Five yards to go. They do a quick screen pass. And Thomas is going to get one yard, so it'll be third and short, and I'm sure they're going to let it tick down to the fourth quarter here. Seatbelts buckled? Because here we go. Texas State leading 31-21. Last quarter, a national title perhaps on the line. Fan base is ready. Who do you go to in this situation? We've asked this many times before. And then they try to hit Chuck Denman, and it's incomplete. They will force the punt. Red Pickens out here for the first time today. Ooh, he shanked that one a little bit, but it does get behind the 40, maybe. Texas State defense probably needs one more big stop in them. Can they get it here? Here comes the pressure. Frank Rankin hits him, and he's going to fall over. Josh Harris. Oh, they're giving Fritz the sack. Brandon Fritz, the senior out of Chinaview, Texas. Frank Rankin had the initial, and then Fritz runs up and hits him. DC Jesse Broussard, whose son played here a number of years, trying to hold the Aggie offense. They're going to run. Anthony White is up there. He'll fill the hole. Third and 17. Proud coming alive here. Martinez and Mayo go to the left. Hubbard on the right. And they get almost they almost get to him. And Frank Rankin tries to trip him up. He's gonna break down the field. What kind of broken defense was that? They had him behind the line of first down. I am heartbroken over that. Under six to go. Aggie's still alive. Lots of people coming from him, and they'll pull him down. He'll get a yard. Gotta watch Mayo. He goes out to the right. They change up something. A hot route, perhaps. No, they're gonna run. And they'll try to trip him up, and they're just... Oh, my God. Fritz hits him, but he'll get the first down. Everything going to Aggie's way right now. And a false start, perhaps, so the Aggie's getting a little too jumpy. False start. This will allow new personnel to get out there. It's the state. Looks like they're going to bring some pressure, and they're going to run. Anthony White will pull him down. A gain of seven, though, on the play. Bach nears five minutes. Three receivers to the right. One goes in motion. Pressure coming. They dump it to him. Melton is there. Melton will hit him behind the line. Third and very short. Rogers wide open out there. Pressure's coming. Lumpkin. Lumpkin gets him, but he'll get across the line the second effort. First down Aggies. Under five to go. First and ten. Texas State throwing everything they've got at him right now. Trying to disrupt this Aggies offense. All day to throw. He's wide open, and they're going to be within the 10-yard line. 
Pressure just not getting to the quarterback. Pressure there. Lumpkin will hit him, but it's caught six yards. Aggies pushing here. TJ, oh my God, he throws TJ Manning off, but they pull him down inbounds. The clock's going to run. It's third and two, and he's hurt a little bit. I can't tell if that's the quarterback or the receiver, but he's hurt bad. It was the quarterback. Important third down here. He's going to run, and they're going to pull him down behind the line. Fourth and two. What will Texas State do? Or excuse me, what will Texas A&M do? Texas A&M going for it here. And here comes the pressure. Get to him. He sacked the backup quarterback sack. Nowhere to go. David Bailey, the senior backup middle linebacker out of Madison, Wisconsin, gets his senior highlight. Holy cow. And the Bobcats come out, hopefully, going to try to waste some clock. And they're going to hand it off. And Thomas will get four yards, and the clock starts ticking. AM still has three timeouts. They move the blockers over there. And Thomas is short of the first down, but the clock should run below two minutes. It's like a bad spot. Third and one. Third and one. This is important. They give it that big man, Dylan Lee, and Dylan Lee barrels through the senior. Gets eight yards in the first down, and AM calls its first timeout. And they look the run here, and Thomas will scoot through. He'll get six yards. Another timeout by Texas AM. Gotta think one more. First down should do it. And they're going to get Thomas behind the line. Last time out, so third and seven. They've got to get the first down here. You know that Jones can throw it. What play will they draw up? Third and seven. Open Johnny Walker. He's up past midfield, and that's the first down in the game. Big man Johnny Walker coming through. Wide open. Jones hits him. And Texas State is going to end the regular season with the win. Texas State is going to beat the Aggies of A&M and a rare win over an SEC opponent for Coach Conquest. And better yet, the third-ranked Texas State will end the regular season with a win. 31-21 over the Aggies. And Darren Thomas indeed is your player of the game. 22 carries for 108 yards, two touchdowns. Brian Jones leaping up there. And now we await to see what the Pac-12 championship will be and bowl games. Final score here in San Marcos, Texas State 31, Texas A&M 21. Checking out the game stats, not a great game. Brian Jones, I mean... 73% accuracy. That's pretty awesome. 17 for 23, over 300 yards. The two interceptions were blemishes, but they did not go against us as we stopped them on both. But Brian Jones did lead the team, and you just you can't take anything from him. He is the reason where we're at. So we're okay with that. He balanced. He was Thanos. He balanced the force today. Darren Thomas, got to give kudos to him. He has tucked so much beat down from chat. Comments below have ripped on Darren Thomas since he got the starting gig, living in many running back shadows, including Tom Sutton. But he breaks through the last two games, two touchdowns today, 108 yards. Shout out to Dylan Lee, the senior, 6'6", from Oaks, North Dakota, getting that first down run when we needed it. Sean Burnett, five catches for 144 today and a touchdown, his longest, 69 yards. Nice. And 82 of that was yards after the catch. Johnny Walker coming up big, another senior, four catches for 65 yards. 
Willie McTaggart, the youngster, I guess we're going to be depending on him next year. The speed receiver, one touchdown, 85 yards on three catches. Chuck Denman, two catches for 15. Thomas and Brown. Daryl Brown was very quiet today. They had him covered. They thought he was going to be the big weapon. And Sean Burnett and Johnny Walker had open because of that. TJ Manning, seven tackles today and a sack to boot. Got to love that. Terrell Schneider, five tackles. On the sacks, we got David Bailey, the senior. That was a great highlight for him to end his career at home on. Jeff Mills, a sack for him. Josh Dawson, I said that we didn't get pressure, but I felt like all these come early in the game. Josh Dawson, another senior. That is two seniors right there with a sack. Daryl Lumpkin got one. Brandon Fritz, the senior, got one. Though I will say that was Frank Rankins. Frank Rankins should have had two. He's a senior. And TJ Manning, we already mentioned him. David Carter made the big 48-yard Phil go, which at the time was super important, four extra points. And honestly, just a, a quiet day for Chuck Denman altogether in returns. Solid win for Coach Conquest. San Marcos is buzzing following a 31-21 win over Texas A&M. And that is big for us. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward to week 15. Our regular season is over. We will see who we play in the Pac-12 title game. I'm pretty sure we're in there, but there could be anything that can happen, and we'll see if anything shakes up in the top 25. So looking at the conference standings, it does look like we will be playing in the Pac-12 title game. We are 10-2 and two overall. Looks like we won the tiebreaker against Arizona State, which was a big game against us. And it looks like California has slid into that top spot over Washington State. They must own the uh, tiebreaker against them. Yeah, they beat them 52-31 there on October 13th. So it looks like Cal and Texas State for the Pac-12 title. We are still sitting on the porch looking in the window at the dating couple. Though this week, oh no, never mind. Ohio State barely squeaked by Michigan 30-27. to So we need to see... I'm going to fast forward it to next week and see who everybody plays. I think the advantage goes to Notre Dame, who has squeaked back into the title game. Remember, we beat them last year for the title. They did soundly handle USC. I don't think we could jump them because they won't play. Well, them not playing a game could help us. We would have to soundly defeat Cal if we do indeed play them. So let's go to the next week and see. Let's go. The big Reggie Clark commits to our team. That is a big one for us. So that is the way that it does shake up. Texas State and California meet again for all the marbles in the Pac-12. Kirk's going with us. They do have a ranking that could help us come deciding if the committee wants to put us in the title game or not. We did play each other earlier in the year. We defeated them 31 to 10. We are by far, well, besides Oregon, the better, best opponent they played all season. But playing a team for the second time is always tough. Ohio State has Purdue this week. Even if they lost, I don't see us jumping up to take on Notre Dame again in a rematch. But that brings us to the end of this episode. We will have a rematch. The third-ranked Bobcats will take on the Bears of California for the Pac-12 title, a possible national title deciding game. But with two losses, I do believe that our chances of getting back in the big dance with Notre Dame being stagnant are probably not going to happen. We will probably be settling for the Rose Bowl, which is a great honor. I just would rather play for a back-to-back -back national title, but we blew it this year losing two games. If you like the video, you like the series, and you want to make sure the series keeps going, make sure you hit that like button below. Leave a comment. Let me know what you're thinking. Thanks for watching. God bless. And as always, don't forget to make good decisions. Great thanks to these January New Year's Patreons. If they were my income taxes, I would do them and then cry myself to sleep. Kirkland Thomas, Curtius, Zachary McKinley, Nicholas Absher, Azur Rain, James Matisse, The Least Expected, and Party Commissar. Thank <laughs> you.